Stop folding tiles, we gotta go. Hmm. I need my prepared tiles. Shut the fuck up. You think I can... It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're a fucking asshole. If you've tiled with me again, I'm gonna have a fucking stab you. Right? <laughs> What's up guys, I'm Rupert, I'm Charlie. Well, welcome back to another episode of the Avery Twins. And today we are making katsu curry. Right, the sauce. What you're gonna need is one onion, a knob of ginger, some carrots, a couple of potatoes, and some garlic. Then we're gonna go in with some curry powder. I have opted and got some Chinese curry paste. If you go down to your local Chinese market with Chinatown, wherever there's an Asian shop nearby, they should be stocking it. And I can tell you, it will just uplift so much nicer. It's not cheating, it's just going for it. These are the kind of levels we're trying to achieve. We're not trying to make just katsu sauce, we're trying to Shut make- Shut up, katsu Right, what we got sauce. is turmeric as well. We're gonna go in with a teaspoon of that. And we've got some teriyaki sauce and some soy sauce we're gonna be seasoning to taste with. That's all we're gonna need for our sauce. Beautiful, let's get to it. Booyah! Right then, getting on with our sauce. Right, for our onion, we're gonna need a medium dice, so not too thick or not too small. You, you can peel carrots. That's all I'm good for, peeling carrots. Yeah, it is. Thought you would have known that by now. So we're gonna peel- I'm not trusted with knives. <laughs> like, you're not allowed a knife, you can have a wooden knife. <laughs> right. Cut up our nice, juicy, delicious onions. Just a medium oh, dice. Jesus. Yeah, fuck me, you're right. I can't even peel the carrots. You can't even peel the carrots, can you? Jesus. Peel the onions. Chop, medium dice. Carrots are peeled. Boom! Right, do you want to chop up the carrots? Shall I show you how to do it? Wow, am I trusted? No. Hang on, wait, let me just get my knife out. <laughs> Whoa! Ride like the wind, bullseye! Oh, fucking oh, shit. Rupert. Come on! What's that, dude? Right. Can you turn on that pot yeah. onto a nice high heat? We're gonna do the same chop for our carrots, the same kind of medium dice. So just top and tail them. Yeah, that, that went on the floor, put it away, get away from me. Right, well, I mean, you can five second rule. No, once it's on the floor, it's dead. Right, though you said I could do this. Yeah, you can do this, I'm just showing you. So you go down the middle, yeah. down again, yeah. and into nice little strips. And you want it the same size as the onions, really easy. medium chop. Super easy. Super fucking easy. Christ, that was close. Multitasking. Multi carrot chopping. Look at those knife skills. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Right, so now that our carrot and our onions are peeled and chopped, we're gonna add these to our saucepan. But first, on a high heat, we're gonna add some olive oil. You can use rapeseed or sesame oil. Um, Sesame is probably best for this option, but and you want to give it like a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, and then straight in with your carrots and your onions. Right, hold on, hold on, you're going a mile a minute, man. Just slow down. Bring on the brakes, son. Right in. Yeah. Start giving them a nice stir, and that's the sound you really want to hear whenever you add in onions or anything to a pan. Is it sizzling straight away? Um, don't ever bring it up if it doesn't work. Just nice hot pan always whenever you start. I'm gonna peel two cloves of garlic. Are you stirring it? Yeah. Right, then when they, like after about a minute, put a nice big uh, pinch of salt in there and some cracked pepper, just get it started, always season. After it's been in there for 30 seconds, nice pinch of salt. You're like an echo, you're just repeating exactly what I just fucking said. Next, add a nice big crack of pepper. What do I do next? <laughs> get the fuck out of here, you're really annoying me. Can you stop shouting at me? No. All I did was care! <laughs> Chop your garlic nice and fine. Then next add your garlic. Pack it in, bro. See? Twinning right there. Right. Now that we're sweating all that off nice. Right. So what, what I've got here is a nice kind of thumb sized knob of ginger. Um, what you can do is a nice trick. You can use a spoon as like, people can peel. Well, why don't you practice what you preach, bro, and use a spoon? Um, yeah, I can. Right, peel your nice ginger with a spoon. My stirring skills are on point. 
Right, next, now that we've peeled our ginger, I've got a mandolin, you could use a grater just on the finer setting, but I think with, um, sorry, a microplane, this helps. Are you even a chef? Finish. And we're just gonna grate the ginger. And that's gonna get the little stringy bits out. It's gonna be like really nice and finely chopped out. Did you just cut yourself? No. We're just gonna rub it down on the microplane. Oh, it's slipping, mate. And it's gonna bring all the lovely, delicious fragrance out. And it's just gonna be absolutely badass. Doesn't that look beautiful? I love ginger. Ginger is like the ultimate thing. I have a ginger lemon tea every morning. Did you know that? No, you didn't. I don't think anyone gives a fuck about your stupid lemon teas, man. And that just gives it so much more nicely minced. It's, you know, delicious. It's quick and easy. Right, there we go. That goes in. It's a lovely, good job. Perfect. Right, two potatoes. This recipe works for a good about like three or four people. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna peel them. We're just gonna... You dare devil. We're pretty much just gonna square them off. Square off the sides. And we're gonna cut them into quite nice small cubes. And they're gonna cook along with everything else in the sauce. And we're gonna slice it down the middle first into little one, like half centimeter slices. Yeah. Then we're gonna turn it around and then we're gonna come long lengthways and we're gonna cut them into like little baton shapes. Beautiful. Just like that. So we've got some nice little potato cubes. Cool, so while all of that's cooking, while we're getting on with potatoes, you can turn that heat right down because you don't want to overcook it. Um, we've cubed our potatoes and we're gonna put that in some water on the side. And what um, the water does actually is it washes the starch out straight away. And um, I did not know that. We want the starchy washiness out of it and it just cleans the potatoes so we don't get any of that dirt in there. Do you want to have a go at Exactly what he said. No, I'm, I'm cool, I'm gonna. Right, we've rinsed off our lovely potatoes. They're all lovely and diced. Perfect. We've, and we've also sauteed our wonderful onions. They're nice and translucent, so it's time to add these in. Boom! As soon as you've added those in, we're gonna go in with our spices. So now, as soon as we add in our potatoes, we're gonna be going in with our curry powder, yeah. our little bit of curry paste, and our turmeric. Wonderful. So in goes our, what is it, curry powder? Two tablespoons of curry powder. Yeah. Lovely. Um, we've got about a tablespoon of our Chinese curry paste. Bloop. Get it all in there. And then we've got two teaspoons of turmeric. And if you wanna get your stir on. I'm gonna stir that in, bro. And just, once it's all coated, we're gonna slowly, what's gonna happen in that pan, your spices are gonna to start to be toasted off in the heat. And it's just gonna fill your house with delicious aromas and it's gonna smell really good. Stuff. Wonderful, so now that your veggies are nice and coated in those lovely spices, the pan will be a little bit dry and that's kind of what you want because now we're gonna deglaze it with our soy sauce and our teriyaki sauce. Perfect, let's go. And what we've got is about three tablespoons, Jesus Christ, scorching there, board, of teriyaki. Sure. And then we're gonna go in with some lovely soy sauce. So loosen it up. Perfect, lovely. Basically what Rupert's doing is he's just scraping the bottom of the pan, making sure that no flavor is being left. Now that all the spices have kind of come together and it's definitely, it's like formed a big paste. I've got half a liter of um, leftover ramen stock. You can use chicken stock or beef stock, whatever stock you have. And we'll just pour it in. Ah, getting it on the floor. And we're going to bring that up to a boil and it's going to slowly, slowly reduce and it's going to thicken up. Brilliant, so now that we've added our stock, what we're going to do is put that onto a medium heat. We're going to let that boil and reduce. Um, all in all, how long do you reckon that will take? Around 15, 20 minutes until it's nice and thick. You heard it from the chef himself. Um, yeah, to right. it's good. Next, what we've got is some two lovely chicken breasts. We've got about four tablespoons of plain flour, a couple of eggs, and then panko breadcrumbs. Um, and what we're gonna It's gotta be panko breadcrumbs. Every Don't time. go stingy on the breadcrumbs, just get panko. They are the fucking shit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just butterfly our chicken breasts, and we're just gonna trim them up a little bit. So get rid of any of that weird looking- like Beautiful butterfly. <laughs> weird looking sinew, just off the side there. Um, you can do the other one if you want, bro, if you wanna try it. Do you that. know what? I'm feeling confident. I think I'm gonna do it. Whoa, look at you, bro! This should have already been done before I arrived on site. Okay, right, butterfly and your chicken. 
I'll show you the first one. So what you do, hand on top, and then just run your knife from the top, and we're just gonna come back on ourselves, and we're gonna slowly open it up. Just like that, yeah, lovely. And then you can see, am I doing good? <laughs> You're doing all right. <laughs> Surgically open them up, like that. And you should have two breasts. So you just uh, run it through and just bring it down. Cause you don't want like one breast to be bigger than the other or you've cut through the other one. Yeah, that's really, really nice. That's yeah, perfect. perfect. Hammer them down anyway. You can hammer them down a bit. Lovely. And just cut straight through and you've got another two thinner. But then you got two chicken fillets. Two chicken fillets. Next you up. want to crack two eggs into your bowl. I don't know if I'm capable of doing that, but I will give it a go. And then what we're gonna do is grab ourselves a foot. Yeah, perfect. See, doesn't get much better than that. Boom. Lovely. Give them a nice little whisk. Add a pinch of salt. And if you add a pinch of salt while beating eggs, I wouldn't do it for scrambled eggs, but what, you, what happens is that the salt actually breaks down the membrane and it actually becomes easier for you to um, wish wash and crumb things. Right. Making music. Fucking mix and beats, bro. I think you've beat your shit much too long. Beating the fuck out of these eggs. <laughs> now that we've beaten our eggs, right, we're not gonna be banging our chickens. <laughs> I mean, flattening our chickens. <laughs> we're gonna keep them, yeah, like nice and whole. Right, Rupert's gonna flour them and put them in the egg. And if you're doing this on your own, you want to try and keep one dry hand and one wet hand so then you don't end up coating your fingers and making goujons at the end. Look at that, beautiful. Then we're going to pick it. We're going to give them a flip. In the yeah. egg wash, nice. Then Rupert with his dry hands. Yeah. He's going to coat that up. And you can, you can shake it. Let's yeah, give it a little shake. Flip it. Lovely. See, this is ultimate teamwork here. Ultimate teamwork. Twinning is winning! <laughs> if you tell with me again, I'm gonna have a fucking stab you. <laughs> what do you do? What do I do? Yeah, what, what is it? You tell me your role here. Yeah. The only thing you've done today and the only thing you've accomplished is put yourself in a fucking turtle neck. <laughs> Twinning is winning. I feel like I'm in a game of tech. Just <laughs> that goes on there. Mate, I fucking love Katsu, man. Look how lovely it looks with those pankos, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, now that we've breaded our chicken to perfection, it's time to get on with our rice. With the rice, we've opted for short grain Japanese rice. And what we're gonna do with this rice is we're gonna wash it three times until it runs clear. And then also you can leave it to soak, optional, for another 10 to 20 minutes, just to get the original soak. And that will let your rice cook a little bit more evenly but that's optional. Okay, cool. But just wash it three times, uh, make sure the water runs clear, get rid of all that starch, and you've got perfect fluffy rice. You've got perfect rice. Fluffiness! The rice is now washed, the water is clear, and what we're gonna do is the best tip to measure the rice. <laughs> the best tip to measure the rice is using your middle finger and the first line that comes up to the top of your finger. You want the top of your finger to press on the rice, and that line to come up with the water, and that's perfectly measured water. Right, so now on a high heat, our rice goes on. We're gonna bring it to the boil, then we're gonna turn it right down, yep. then we're gonna let it simmer, and then for the last five minutes, once the water is, uh, once the rice is done and it's still got a tiny bit, we're gonna turn it off and let it steam. Turn it off and let it steam. Every time a short grain rice, that is how we do it. Steam it away. That's how we go, that's just- Unless she was acting how the rice was gonna be. It's gonna what? It's gonna come up. It's like boil. yoga. Yeah, and then it's gonna, Come down and simmer, and then it's gonna steam. Perfect. So our katsu sauce is done. So what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the sauce off. That's really distracting. Turn the sauce off. Set it to one side. The rice is still cooking. <laughs> once the rice. Can you hear that? No, I don't. I don't know what it is. So once the. <laughs> Uh, once the rice, oh, 
I've lost my train of thought. You're a fucking prick. Come on, bro. Hang on, wait. You know what to do. Right, so the katsu sauce is finished. We've turned the katsu sauce off and we've set it to one side, ready to serve. The rice is boiling now. And once the rice is finished boiling, you turn the heat off and it starts to steam. That's when you want to get the chicken on and frying. Because then at the end, it's all going to come together in one lovely hot plate of food. Fantastic. I cannot wait. In we go. Oh my god. Yes, bro. Right. And we're going to let that fry for how long? Literally three minutes. Three minutes. Is that all? When you let your rice rest, don't let it rest in a pan. What we're gonna do, I did not know that. We're gonna put it into a bowl. And if you were to keep it in the pan, it would just overcook. Okay. So we're just gonna put it in a bowl and let that. Can you see the amount of steam? Yeah, of Christ. It? It's still gonna, it's still, it's still cooking, but just to like stop it from overcooking, we're just gonna just set it out like that. And we're just, you know, tend to it every couple of minutes, fold it, make sure it doesn't overcook. Perfectly <laughs> cooked rice. Three, two, one, boom. Perfect. And we're going to let it rest. Right, we're now ready to build, to build this thing. We're going to get our plate. Rupert's going to put in a lovely half a cup of rice in there. Our chicken, where the magic happens. Our chicken breast is now rested. And I'm just going to slice it up really nice. On here, beautifully cooked. Slice it up real nice. I'm doing, I'm going for that sort of Wagamama style. Looks beautiful. And it's going to go on the plate like this. And we have Whee. that beautiful, steamy. See that katsu on there, bro? Go. Oh my good golly gosh. And the next thing we're going to do is add our lovely katsu sauce. Oh my god. I think the actual chunks in there are really nice. Yeah, it just puts a little bit more of a, a like a bit of them to the dish. And, and then what I've done here, hold on, is just a little shallot and kale salad, just to kind of go on the side. Pickled shallots. And we'll just beautiful. Up from there. Alex. Absolutely stunning. I can eat that right now, which I will be eating right now. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, of course, man. <laughs> Perfect. And there you have it, guys. A wonderful katsu curry. <laughs> Alright then guys, thank you for watching. There you have it, a wonderful katsu curry recipe. It's secretly better than my Mama's, but that's okay. Um, obviously, like, subscribe, push that notification button. Thank you so much for watching as always. And we'll see you in the next one. See you in the next one. Booyah! Hey! Ace and Queen for you! This is what half the show is behind the scenes. It's fucking cleaning down. <laughs> <sighs> My back is so sore.